Hello, hello. I have two short Photoshop tutorials for you today. In the first tutorial, we are going to turn this image black and white, and I'm going to show you what I think is the quickest, easiest, and best method. There are several in Photoshop. And in the second tutorial, we are going to turn this image black and white, but we are going to keep the red of the rose. I know a lot of people like to do that. So, first one, we have our image. Both of these images I've got from um, Julie's blog, The Old Design Shop, so they are free for you to use if you'd like to try with the same images. I'm just gonna select my move tool. So the first thing I'm gonna do is unlock my layer. And just for good practice, I always do this, I always have. I'm just gonna drag that into that little post-it note um, icon at the bottom there to just duplicate my layer. I'm also going to show you how you can use your history palette, um, your history panel, sorry, just in case um, when you're working with layers, if you make a mistake, it's very easy to come back to your original picture. Um, but if we've got a layer here, I'm just going to turn that off um, by clicking the little eye. If we've got a little layer here, we can always refer back to that. Now, I'm just going to tell you about these little eyes here. When you've got lots of layers, you can literally click the eye on and off so you know which layer you're working on, which layer has what on it. Um, it's just a little tip for the future if you're working with lots of layers. So, nice and easy. Although there are three ways to get to exactly what I'm going to show you now, I always do it this way round. At the bottom here, you've got some little icons. You've got one that looks like a yin yang single uh, symbol, a little black and white circle. Click on that and nice and easy, click black and white. And there you go. You have your black and white image, nice and straightforward. The good thing about this um, way is you've got options here. So we had lots of red in this image. We also had some green in the image and I would very much imagine we had some yellow in this little panel here. So I'm just going to play around with these sliders. So you can see I'm going to I can make the reds very dark. I can change the yellows. And what this gives you um, the ability to do is just change the effect of that black and white, change the contrast. You know, you can really play around with it and get different different effects with the same um, uh, black and white option. Now, if you're not happy with this, but you don't remember where these sliders were, they don't start at zero, you've got a little option here to just revert back to your original black and white image. So I actually like the reds being a little bit darker. I'm not so worried about that being dark. I'd like a little bit of contrast there. And I do quite like the greens a little bit darker too. So I'm going to change that. Now, when we talked about the eyes earlier, you've also got a little eye symbol here. So you can flick between the two here as well as flicking through the two here just to see what, what you've actually amended on your image. So I'm actually going to obviously leave that black and white because that's what we've just done. So that's the first uh, tutorial for today. All you have to do now is go ahead and save your image. I would give it a different name and not save over the original. So you've always got that option and of course you'll be able to do the effect um, that I'm going to show you in the next tutorial on this image as well. It would work perfectly with this. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this useful and I will be back straight away with the next tutorial.